Well, tonight, students in crisis forced into mental health facilities against their will. News 6 uncovered a significant surge of students taken into custody at school under the Baker Act. But is it being used too much and for the right reasons? News 6 investigator Adriana Ivyshinsky spoke with one mom who says it happened to her daughter. Wendy Castro says a week after the Parkland shooting, her 11-year-old daughter Alondra, who has autism, was taken out of school and forced to have a mental health evaluation without her consent. That was devastating. Castro says by the time she got the call from school, her daughter was already being taken away. I said, just please give me like 15, 20 minutes to make it to school. I'll be there. Please don't take my daughter. They told me no. I was just looking out the window scared, wanting mom. Castro says for three days, Alondra was held at the University Behavioral Center, not because she made a big scene at school, but because she told a substitute teacher she had suicidal thoughts. I had two nights where I just cried myself to sleep. The Baker Act is a Florida law that is supposed to provide emergency mental health services and evaluations to kids and adults in need of intervention. But attorney Kendra Paris, who represents dozens of families impacted by the Baker Act, says it's being overused in central Florida schools. I personally think that while there are children who are helped by getting a Baker Act, far more are, are harmed in the long run. Orange County Public Schools confirms they have definitely seen an increase post-Parkland. Their records show this year, in August and September, under the new state guidelines, they've already ordered 71 Baker Acts. In our procedures, we are always trying to get a hold of the parent as soon as we possibly can. Mary Bridges is in charge of student services with Orange County Public Schools. She says the Baker Act is only used when kids are in crisis, not as a disciplinary tool, and that law enforcement has the final say on commitments done on school grounds. Our concern is to make sure the students stay safe, and we do whatever it takes to make sure they're not able to harm themselves. Major Denise Demps with the Orange County Sheriff's Office confirms that's true. We may be called in and we determine that the child does not meet the criteria. Major Demp says because of Parkland and the new Public Safety Act, more attention is being placed on early intervention. She says with all of the things kids are seeing on air and online, they are facing more stressors than ever before, and it's affecting their mental health. At the end of the day, I don't think we're overusing it at all. But Diane Stein disagrees. It's just too easy to Baker Act. Stein heads the Citizens Commission on Human Rights, a watchdog group that tracks the use of Baker Acts on kids and adults. The simple solution is bring the parents in. And Castro and her daughter agree. It was a horrible experience. I don't wish this upon no parents. Now we checked with all 10 school districts, and of those that responded, only Seminole County says they've seen a decline in the Baker Acts being used. To see what each district had to say, head to clickorlando.com. Adriana Ivashinsky, News 6.